Gestalt theories of visual communication are a new concept when applied to presentations. But whatever visuals accompany your message, chances are you'll be more successful if you follow some of them. Gestalt is a psychology term that means unified whole, and it refers to theories of visual perception developed by German psychologists in the 1920s. These theories attempt to describe how people tend to organize visual elements into groups or unified wholes when certain principles are applied. Similarity occurs when objects look similar to each other. This example contains 11 objects and appears as a single unit because all the shapes have similarity. When similarity occurs, an object can be emphasized if it is dissimilar to the others. This is called anomaly. The figure on the far right becomes a focal point because it is dissimilar to other shapes. Continuation occurs when the eye is compelled to move through one object and continue to another object. Continuation occurs in the example because the viewer's eye will naturally follow a line or curve. The smooth flowing crossbar of the H leads the eye directly to the maple leaf. Closure occurs when an object is incomplete or a space is not completely enclosed. If enough of the shape is indicated, people perceive the whole by filling in the missing information. Although the panda is not complete, enough is present for the eye to complete the shape. When the viewer's perception completes a shape, closure occurs. Proximity occurs when elements are placed close together. They tend to be perceived as a group. The nine squares are placed without proximity. They are perceived as separate shapes. When the squares are given close proximity, unity occurs. While they continue to be separate shapes, they are now perceived as one group. The 15 figures form a unified whole, the shape of a tree, because of their proximity. The eye differentiates an object from its surrounding area. A form, silhouette, or shape is naturally perceived as figure or object, while the surrounding area is perceived as ground, background. Balancing figure and ground can make the perceived image clearer. Using unusual figure-ground relationships can add interest and subtlety to an image. In this image, the figure and ground relationships change as the eye perceives the form of a shade or the silhouette of a face. This image uses complex figure-ground relationships which change upon perceiving leaves, water, and the tree trunk. Your tip? When designing visuals for your next presentation, reduce the confusion and enhance your message by incorporating some of these theories.